Good evening, all ships at sea. Did it, did it, did it, press. <laughs> Nerd Generation, AK News. That's right. This is 5 4 with Mr. Pablo. Say it twice a long Pete, what's going on? What's going on, man? We're going to keep marching on because that's all we can do, ladies and gentlemen. It's either this or put our heads in the well. I ain't going to do that. Let's talk some good news. Let's talk some animation, which we haven't talked about in a long time. I don't think we've ever talked about it at all. Now we did talk about animation. We, we, we talked me, you, and Freddie, Fast Freddie, out of Brooklyn. What a particular did we speak about? Is Brooklyn in the house? Brooklyn's always in the house. Um, we had we had spoke about we talked about those shows on Netflix, and I think we also did one where we spoke and very small. We got we we could look that up. You know, we archive everything. We put everything in the backyard, dig a hole so the rabbits can't get it. But let's talk about that one that I put a couple of folks on. I put, yeah, I even put my boy Renee on to Castlevania. That's right, Castlevania just set and broke a standard over at Netflix that they normally don't do. That's right, Castlevania has been green lit for season four. So if you haven't been watching Castlevania from season one, two, three, we're now up to four. And season one to season two, it took about a year and a half. That was a long wait, but we waited. We some good soldiers around here. We wait for the good stuff. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, full disclaimer, I never played the game. And maybe I'm a little jealous of not knowing the mythology from the game. But then I'm not jealous because I don't have to worry about having a preconceived notion of how the universe works. I was only able to judge it based on the uh, Netflix show. And like I said, from the first season, I put everybody I knew on to watch that show. P. Will, I, I never even knew this man was watching Castlevania. Kevin. I was talking to my boy. We talked, you know, you know how Bob is, Bob shots be. You talk about stuff that you like or whatever the yeah. case may be. And I, and I told him about Baki. I told him about, about Kengan. And, and he told me about, yo, you got to watch Castlevania. You know, with, with, you know, Family around with and all life, that stuff. With, yeah, with, yeah. With it, it's, it's hard to get, it's hard to stay focused. So I said, "Yo, let me watch it this week." And so I watched it. I watched the first episode again just so that I can reacclimate myself. Then the second episode and the third, and then I was like, "Wow, wow! This is this is way deeper than I thought it would be." Right? Really? I I, I had no. I, thank goodness I had no pre, pre, uh, no preconceived notions about this show because I didn't. Here that I, I knew game. nothing of this. I knew nothing of this. Yeah, yeah. I start doing my homework. You know what we do? We start digging into stuff because yeah. we used to do it for shows. We got to do show notes, so we start <clears> looking at stuff like a couple of days prior. But then I just started watching the show, and my first initial. Uh, Invitation to the show, obviously Dracula, vampires. I, I just, you know, everybody, everybody has a monster fetish. I mean, just the other night, I watched Pan's Labyrinth, and not just to watch Pan's Labyrinth, and I did love the subtitles, but to find out, I started digging into the mythology, just like with the Lord of the Rings, the mythology of it. Like, where do these creatures come from? What universe do they have? What's the rules? What's the laws? What's the yeah, yeah. With Castlevania. I wonder what type of Dracula he was. And he was basically, ladies and gentlemen, when Marvel introduces Dr. Doom, he's got to be like that. Yes. That's the Dr. Doom that you want. Castlevania's Dracula. That's yes. exactly. He rules with an, I mean, it's not even a <laughs> question. I'm the boss. The, and, the, and the way the story was told initially, oh, the right? Oh, excellent. Initially, yeah. That he yeah. was able, that he, that he found a human being that was able to um, cause him. Change him. Cause, but cause him some sort of a sense of happiness or, or, or of lightheartedness epiphany. to his life. He, yes. He got, an, yeah, he got an epiphany. Yes. Because usually you walk into that house. And, and it's funny how they took it. And here's the Dr. Doom connection. It wasn't the horror it was also, this man was a man of science. You yeah, never yeah, seen that with Dracula. Yeah. You never yeah, seen that with Dracula. This was yeah, a man of science. Yeah. And it was almost like, I know I'm not supposed to be interested in him. He's the bad guy. But, ooh, what's that? 
like, he can bite me at any minute. But, 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 but before you bite me, what's that? Yeah. That's a, that's a, what is that? That's a transmuter? You can take cosmic energy. See how the guy got you? He got you. He got you. Look at that. Yeah. Now, yeah. now I don't want, now I don't want to leave until I find out what's all this stuff. What? But the fact that he was, how he's used to doing stuff, he wasn't able yeah. to do it with her because he was actually smitten by her and fell in love with her so much so that she made him walk the earth like a man. Yeah. Travel yeah. like I mean, a man. That story, that story that's story is crazy. That, that's, some, that's deep yeah, stuff. That, that right story there. is crazy. And it's almost I love the blend of the, the I mean the, he's Doctor Doom, the scientist, and then he dips over into the sorcery. He's got night creatures. I mean, and remember the first season, we knew nothing about Isaac or yes, um, yes, yes. or uh, Hector. We yes. knew nothing about Demon Forge. I mean, you see the balance, how they can go back into the scientific world and supernatural world. But then if you watch um, Castlevania, they always say, like, science and magic is the same flip of the coin. It's the same thing. In the next two seasons, especially season three, with the new character... This guy's been, I mean, it, it, it's really getting like real tokenish. This guy's been chasing that gateway between the netherworld and the real world. It, it was even so much. And the fact that, hey, if you watch season one, you fall, in, you fall in love with our trio. Season three, they separate them. And we think Alucard is becoming more and more like his father. <laughs> and he's kind of slipping yeah, yeah. the loneliness. Yeah. That's why but, they got to put the three of them back together. They have let's start. Let's yeah. Let's start from the beginning though. In introducing the the introduction of Alec, um, Alucard and um, uh, oh, with the speakers, Isaac, oh, you, uh, Alucard, Isaac, the speakers, Isaac, and, and Hector, and Hector. Isaac is the yeah. dark dark skinned dude, right? Yeah, Isaac is the yeah. Yo, that dude and was his story himself so, with his, spikes. Oh man. Dude, his story is so realistic with the fact of he, whoever the writers are, and of course we'll we'll put the the writers plugged in a little real world church society, the 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 the, the domination of the uh, uh, we got I gotta say it, the domination of the Catholic Church and and how it dipped in between good and evil all throughout the centuries there was a part of the time that the uh, catholic church was worse than governments they were just horrible i mean when the brother wrote these people were they were monsters they, they really they were really monsters and whether they wore the collar or not it's just that that's the, the truth but the fact that he imposed it in castlevania how that monk or whatever owned isaac and i think I think the suggestion is he molested him, but then the victim started getting um, the uh, Stockholm, Stockholm Syndrome. He fell in love with the oppressor. I mean, all these elements are like thrown into that show, and remember, the show is going, and you got to get all those elements, and while they're doing that, they're also giving you supernatural, and they're also giving you science, but then they're also giving you power base. Dracula may be the lord of vampires, but of course, like anything else, like just like Star Wars, you got these little fractions, and then you got Camilla. She wants to take over, and she'll never be ruled by a man. So I thought it was just Camilla. Guess what? Now we find out Camilla shares power with three other women. It, it, it's so many. The, the writers are putting yes, so many different yes. real world dynamics, and it's in not that confusing. Show. And it's not confusing. And, and that's almost like the MCU. Yeah. It's not confusing, yeah. DC. Yeah. You can do these things, <laughs> DC. It's not confusing. Don't let a guy just do a five-picture arc and then cut out and it's, leave you with a mess. Because you know what they do a lot of? Their scenes are well-developed. And okay. they spend their time with the characters so you know who they are and what their motivations are. And, and, and it's just fantastic writing. I can't agree more. The, the characters are just excellent. And the fact that it's expanding. And I, and, and the great thing is, I don't know how it's supposed to expand because I never, I never played the game. And I, the game really never had a lot of 
mythology that was put out to the public. It's not like it's Dungeons and Dragons and we knew about Venger and we knew about the kids and we knew where they came from. But the only thing about Dungeons and Dragons, I wanted to know more about the world Dungeon Master and Venger came from. Venger was Dungeon Master's apprentice. It's almost like Star Yeah, but see, these are the things that people like to see fleshed out. These are the storylines that people like to see fleshed out. And like, and, 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 as you said yourself, you get caught up in this and you won't leave. You'll stay yeah. there. Yeah. I was watching You'll this watch like, the- like, this was like some sort of soap opera dope stuff with like, you know, like real, like real uh, emotions into this. Right. And I, I it, mean, it, it was, it was amazing. I, I couldn't, I, yo, my wife wanted to watch some other stuff. I was like, yo, I got to finish this. I got to finish this. Yeah, you <laughs> you're welcome to watch it with me. <laughs> we, we we keep talking about, and let's talk about characters. We talked about the two characters that seem to stick out of the show right now because of who they were. Hector and Isaac. Yeah. And Hector and Isaac are represented exactly who they are. I, Isaac, at first, I, I thought maybe he was like a blind follower. And Hector was the little boy who didn't want to grow up. He is Hector is exactly what he, until season three. Mm-hmm. We now kind of find out Hector does have some bite. Yeah, Hector doesn't like to be abused. Hector does see, but Hector always had a heart. Yes, Hector wasn't ruined. Isaac was ruined. Yes. Hector wasn't ruined. Hector just wanted to be alone. I think yes. maybe that's the dichotomy. They yeah. Put that. Hector had a mental issue. Hector just wanted to be alone. He didn't want everything to get killed. Yeah. He just didn't want to be bothered. Yeah. Isaac Isaac was on a war path. Yes, yes, yes. Isaac was. Yeah, you know, you, you got the one kid. He wants yeah, to burn yeah. everything down. Yeah, yeah. He was sort of the opposite in that sense. He loved yeah. Dracula. He, and he, he respected him like a, a sovereign, not not the crap that was happening to him with him and the monk. He respected Dracula for the power base mm-hmm. and who he thought Dracula was. And let me tell you something, who he thought Dracula was as the scientific genius. Yeah. That's what Mar- that's, that's what came across to me that mm-hmm. Hector liked with Dracula. He thought he was above his time, his mm-hmm. intelligence. Mm-hmm. He was he was Dracula was better than the, you know, those people are vampires. Your yes. Dracula yeah. is different. You know, they, they, they're going to fight and just like, uh, with, uh, what's his face? All he cared about what blood was he drinking. And I just love the way Dracula put him down. But that's he why, said, that's oh. why, Hector, that's why Hector keep getting got because he has that, that, that glimpse of empathy in, inside of him. This is the thing with Isaac that every so often he meets a human that, um, amuses him, right? The and captain of the ship. He the captain, the of, the captain ship, of the ship, the, the, the guy that gave him the mirror, uh, uh, yeah. That artifact. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. He liked him too. You know, so and they're then, not, and, and, but then they're not imme- 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 yeah, immediately after meeting those people, he has some sense of yes, let me go about my business, let me get out of here, right? But people yeah. don't leave him alone. It's like, oh man, that's what you keep pulling go me back. You keep pulling me back. <laughs> yeah. You keep pulling me back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now let's talk about listen. I love Trevor. And I love Cypher. You talk mm. about two people Cypher who belong together. Dope. But Cypher, I mean, that's your girl? <laughs> yo, she bad. <laughs> she is bad. That's your girl. And yo, let me let me be a real geek and a real nerd. Dude, do you see how they kept the three scratches that she received yes. in the first season? On, see, people, that's, you that's appreciate the, that, you know what? like that. That is detail. That, what's, that is what makes it real for us. Yeah. You know, yeah. In, in a sense, it's like. She still got the scars. And Trevor, Trevor's dope. Yeah, For a true. mortal man dealing with these monsters, he really is a Belmont. This yeah. kid yeah. got the DNA. You guys gotta have kids. Yeah. You teach one belt, you teach one how to be a Belmont, you teach another one to be a speaker. You teach the next one to be a Belmont, you teach the next I mean, one to be a Belmont. Forget about it. I mean, these kids is great. Because in the beginning, it didn't seem like this dude wasn't all that. Right, he was getting beat up. Yeah, well, he was getting beat up by like three dudes. Wasn't he? Wasn't he jumped? He eventually got out of it, but you saw that there was levels to his fighting. When he went down, he fought the Cyclops. I said, "Oh, okay." He, but, but you know what? Right, there, he has to be more than that. Well, he couldn't take. He couldn't take on Dracula. Are you kidding me? This guy could take on Dracula. And now let's speak to let's speak about Alucard. Here's the way they wrote him. They wrote him as a some type of 
Tal Messiah. We, I was really looking for some knight, some ancient holy knight that is Dracula's son. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, from a writer's point, oh, I dig. See, like I said before, never played the game. From a writer's point, wow, you're going to have Dracula's son be his own adversary. And then, like he said, like Dracula did when he was almost killing, he was killing Alucard. Yeah. It's your little boy. And he looks, he's, and he's let me tell you something. He looks son. exactly like his mother. Yeah. He looks nothing like Dracula. Yeah. He looks exactly like his mother. I mean, you, you, you gotta love. And now the fact that we actually might get Dracula back. That's interesting. And maybe his mother. That is, that, that is interesting. I don't know if it'll play out. Uh, you know, it's funny. Yeah. You start fan casting. I want the three of them to get back together. More than likely, there's going to be some type of conflict. Oh, yeah, with the son. Trevor, Cause, cause let's, Trevor's going to okay, have a so, problem with Alucard because he's like, you turning like your father. I like the banter between uh, Trevor and Alucard. I thought it was dope. Because it's like they really do appreciate and like each other. Yeah. But we just, we just won't show it. But then, yeah, they're, like, they're, they're like, like they're, they're mommy and Cap and Tony. Yeah, you're an asshole, but you know what? I can't, I can't do this without you. And, and, and deep down, I respect you. He respects him. You're a Belmont. And you're Dracula's son, but yet you see the sense you can't kill everybody in the world. That's mm. crazy. <laughs> But, do, but then that shows you that shows see, you the depth of Dracula's grief. That shows you the oh, depth of Dracula's exactly, grief. Exactly, exactly. Because he was. L listen, I'm, yeah, when I say tripping, th when I say what? this dude was in love with this woman, yeah, and they took yeah. her away from him, yeah, she fell in love with a mortal woman and had a kid. Yeah. With her. I remember when she screamed, "You don't know what you're doing." I would tell him, "You don't know what you're doing." <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> like what you doing? They don't know they what they don't, do. Don't do this. Yeah. Don't do this. But you know what? Not for nothing. On the counterpart of it, you kind of like the fact that Carmilla was a scheming, plotting little Loki-ish type character. Yeah, she was trying to take over everything. She saw men as being weak, and now we know why. She's mm -hmm. counseled by. She's their leader, but it's really a, a figurehead that the mm -hmm. leadership here is those four women. One is a tyrant monster, the other one's a plotter, the other one is a, the diplomat, and then you got Camila, who's the, I guess, the machine. She's the gas that <laughs> makes it go. She's the, yeah. So, you know, um, the, the, the storyline and the franchise seems to be real well. Adding this new guy to the storyline was excellent. He's excellent. The guy is looking for his past or looking for the doorways because he's yes, looking yes, for someone yes. too. I, Somebody I, went I, that, that in side between character the was dope. That side character because you were intrigued and curious as to what this dude is after, you know. And yeah. uh, also mysterious with the the guys that were doing something in the basement. Nobody knew what they were doing in the basement. Everybody knew it was something crazy, right? Oh, Everybody I knew. Wanted, yeah, you, you, like you said, we knew that cult was up to something. Yeah, but what we it was, didn't know we what didn't, they were doing. Yeah, exactly. I'm telling we you, just man, didn't know this what is they some were doing. great storytelling where they keep on adding new puzzles, new pieces. I hope we get, uh, I don't think they can, um, I don't think they can end it with one more season. I think we really have to stretch this out two more seasons because we At now, two. I want to see Dracula come back. Yeah, At I want to see two. Dracula come back. I think if and Dracula, and, happen and, with I, his and kid. I'm speculating, I think where this might end up if Dracula does come back, he is going to come back with his wife. He's going to come back with his wife, and he's going to have to kill his son. He's going to have to kill him because Alucard has probably turned already towards feeling the same feelings he his own father did before he killed him. Listen, you got a whole bunch of people hooked. Now, I don't, uh, it might be the people that play the game, but there's also a bunch of new people ingratiated with this show. This show is really the most MCU-like Show I've seen for a while. I mean, I, we can pull out the old rated uh, R, Ninja Scroll. <laughs> like if, if 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 the MCU was rated R, this would be like that. Yeah, this is this would, this would be their Dracula. He's this is this is Marvel's Tomb of Dracula right here. This is this this is it. Yeah, this, I mean, this is dope, and yeah. it's going further and further and further. And, and people the fact should watch that it. We, 
Yeah, no, oh, people should watch it. And the fact that they don't really need to bring in the Wolfman or Frankenstein or the Mummy to stretch it out. This mm-hmm. whole vampire nation thing is is within itself enough. Because, ladies and gentlemen, as a plot point, if you don't think that Dracula's Castle over the Belmont hold ain't a, ain't a draw, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> All the vampires around the world say, "Wait, Dracula's Castle still here, and it's on top of the Belmont." Are you kidding? No. <laughs> you can't even make this up. <laughs> and that and Dracula's son lives in that castle by himself. Yeah. You know Camilla's gonna say, We got attacked. Yeah. But th- but then there's the thing, you got Isaac coming one way, Camilla coming another way, and you got Alucard right there in the castle, but then the team right now isn't together. Yeah. Cypher and Trev, and now see, and now Trevor is on something. He wants to. Where's he going? He says, "Now we're going yeah. to do things my way." Yeah. The, but Trev, the, you were always doing things your way. The you, thing about this show is that every character, there's, there's multiple characters that you're waiting to see where they end up. It's not. There are multiple characters that you care about, not just one, right? I yeah. think everybody, every character that you meet is interesting. And the cinematography, all that, all that, they, 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 they went all in on this. Listen, all I know is we highly recommend people turn on Netflix while we're doing this, uh, sitting on our hands, uh, little scenario in the real world. And uh, I think everybody should, would, would, would enjoy. Anybody who loves animation, and we're talking about the Ninja Scroll and uh, Fist of the North Star. The Ninja Scroll, Vamp, Vampire D, Fist of the North Star, all the, the, the original Guyver series. I mean, yeah, all, all the great stuff. The, you know, the Crying OG. Free, Crying gonna, Freeman. Yeah, Crying Freeman. I, hell, I used to watch Eight Man. Yeah. I used to watch Eight Man. Oh, Eight Man was I, I, dope. For me, yo, for me, I still love uh, GoGo 13, The Professional. The series? See, just the yeah, Go Go Thirteen, and I used to watch um um, I was about to say GoBots, no, Giant Robo. Oh my God, you yeah. talk about apocalyptic! <laughs> if you like, if you like anime, you're gonna love this stuff. And of course, I see Princess Mon. Yeah, of course. Okay, I mean that. Those, those are stuff you have to watch. Of course, I thought, yeah, yeah. But yeah, if, th- but, but great- there are definitely some other shows, you know. You should watch after if you gotta watch Castlevania. Watch that. If you love it, yeah. come back to us. We'll have another one for you. Yeah, yeah, we we can discuss. So just um, uh, c- click on the link. Hit hit us with the comments. We I love talking about this show. I know five people I put onto this show. Yeah, and they they're like, I love this show. This show I want to I, I, tr- I, I want to try to convince my wife, but she ain't into animation like that. But I want to try to convince it. A lot of, you know, a lot of people aren't. And, you know, sometimes I don't mind subtitles either. I know a lot of people back in the day, oh, it was subtitles. Yeah, because the shows were originally Japanese. But yeah. that didn't mean I didn't like who the characters represent. I, I loved all these characters. I mean, what was that other other anime show about the train that went across the country because they had to deliver something, but it was being attacked by monsters. I, I'll, I'll find the name of that. But getting back to Castlevania, highly recommended. I give it, I'll give it four stars. I would like, I would like to say five. You know what? That first season, if the first season was eight episodes, I would give that five season five stars. <laughs> so you giving I, I it love few, So you giving it four because they didn't give you enough for the first season. Yeah, the, yeah, I don't give it four because <laughs> this right, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. Okay. Because of that. Okay. I'm not going to take a full star away. Because that show this, is damn near perfect. Yeah, yeah, this, this show really. <laughs> but, but I didn't want to say it because I know, once again, that would be held personally. And somebody say, well, you like it. You know, Jimmy might not. I know, I understand that Jimmy might not like it. But I'm talking about as far as uh, breaking a show down and the characters and, and, and the franchise. And also, like, we talked about the mythology of it. The mythology of it. And I say, if you want a template of who Dr. Doom should be, watch Castlevania's Dracula. You have to. Marvel, Kevin, if you, he is exactly, except for the vampire stuff, but other than that, the, being the, the monarch and the sign, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just, the show is just, 
just awesome. So what are you looking forward to? My biggest thing I'm looking forward to, I'm getting the team back together. I just want to see the three of them together. I, I just really do. I, I Ooh, love card, uh, um Cypher and Trevor. I just love them. Oh, yeah. I, I think I they'll them. get back together. I think there will be a, a confrontation more so than a reunion. In, in that respect, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of fearing that, but then I really want them to go back and for and Cypher's the only one that could talk to Alucard and talk to him, yeah. and he'll because it's funny in season two you find out that for different I mean it's going to be different they love her she's yeah. the the thing that keeps the two of them from killing each other yeah but they but they both love her yeah. Yeah. And Alucard loves her differently the way Trevor does, but they love her. They love Scythe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, she's she's dope. She's she's sweet, but she's dope. It's Scythe like when was, you watch it, you you almost feel like, damn, is is it her time right now? You don't know, right? It's like, oh, do you feel like, <laughs> every, every, yeah, every time they're in some dude, big conflict, I'm like, oh, she ain't gonna make it out of this, and she dude, does. If they kill Cypher, you better not. Listen, <laughs> you can't kill Cypher off. You can't kill Trevor off. You can't kill Alucard. I'm telling you. Oh, right Alucard now, is done. I think that'll be the end of it. I don't think when Alucard the dies, backlash it'll be will be for get you kill Cypher. Yeah. Then I'm gonna be like Dracula, destroy the whole thing. <laughs> 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 Uh-uh. Um, you gotta watch. I don't want to talk about it now. I want you to watch it, and then we'll do a show on it. King and Ashura, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it tonight. You ain't gone. You ain't going nowhere. Okay. Watch it tonight. Watch <laughs> it tonight. Tell everybody you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> well, you shouldn't go nowhere. Don't be crazy. Exactly. I mean, there's a community out there. I don't know what the hell y'all thinking. Uh, whatever. You should not be doing. Don't do what these people do. I, I don't even ask me to explain it. They must got some contract. I don't know how. But don't do what they're doing. They're crazy. But anyway, you ain't going nowhere. Castlevania, Netflix. Uh, Netflix hasn't exactly popped out some new ones because right now everything's in no production. Hey, hey, we didn't even say mid-production. No production. But honestly, Trey, if you're doing animation, all you got to do is voiceovers. Yeah, but you got to get the actors to get to the studio. You, yeah. uh, not, I mean, yeah, but not really. Well, let's see. You how, can, you, how they, they, it could be done. It could be just... done. Let's see. Let's see. Let's. There's a lot of things that are going to change in regards to production because of all this going on. Because it, you know, the longer this goes on, the the longer people have to uh, adapt. Exactly. The quicker they have to adapt. Yeah, the quicker you have to adapt. You know? So let's see what comes out of this. I think for animation, obviously, you, you get, you're having people drawing and stuff, and you can collaborate now over Zoom. You don't have to be in the same room to collaborate. So I think they'll, they'll, they'll mix it up and, 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 and get it done for animation. Obviously, for live action stuff, you need people to be around people in order to get stuff done. And right now, you can't be around nobody. Yeah, but this is a good this is a good break. We're going to be doing more of these breaks. We want to keep in 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 a certain main, uh, mind frame, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're not going to let this thing take us off the cliff. We're gonna we're gonna keep everything solid until somebody or something tells us otherwise. Otherwise, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. And um, on behalf of Egghead News, thanks for Nerd Generation for allowing us to come in. Um, and, 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 Pete, that's my message to people out there. We're still going to keep doing what we're doing. You can't get caught up yeah. in this like yeah. that. Yeah. As long as your home staying safe and this will subside and, and, and little by little we'll get to quote unquote normal. Right? Oh, yeah. We're going to get back to a, a, things won't be the same again, yeah. but we're going to get back to a certain point. Yeah. And, um, for those people who do decide to watch Castlevania based on our recommendation, if you do watch it and y'all love it, just remember to tell anybody else where you got this from. That's Nerd right. Generation Egghead News. Yeah. We put you on. We put you on. We'll, we'll, we'll see you soon. Good night.